Okay, I'm Caleb Bosco, the sales manager here at Bell Brothers Heating and Air Conditioning, and today I'm going to share with you a little bit about whole house fans. Very simple concept, so we'll get into it, keep it simple and fun. So, uh, this is your house. Uh, I'm sure your house looks a lot better than this, but let's let's talk about a whole house fan. So, first off, I mean the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, right? So the sun rays, rises, cooks your house all day long, especially with the summer coming up. So what happens? The, the roofing material gets hot, uh, the attic gets hot, and it goes all the way down. Your whole house gets nice and hot, right? So if it's 95 degrees outside, it's about 146 degrees inside your attic. Now heat is a pressure, it's gonna to wanna to go into lower pressure. So even if your house is going to be 90 degrees inside, that heat from the attic is gonna to, wanna to come inside. So this is a, a great simple idea, whole house man. So, have you ever came home from the, at the end of the day and you find that, like, hey, you know, it's cooler outside than it is inside my house. So you kick on the AC, AC runs for a long period of time, eventually shuts off, comes back on, and then right before you go to bed, sometimes it's cool. A whole house fan concept is, is genius, and again, simple. So, as your house gets, you know, cooked all day long, it's similar to a cookie in the oven. It's hot, you take it out, and you have to let it cool. Even though the source of heat is gone off that cookie, it's still hot long after. It's the same concept here. So how do we cool that cookie down? So when it's, say, 80 degrees outside, it's still you know, close to 90 degrees inside your house if the AC hasn't been, in, been on all day. So what we do is we want to bring that cool air inside and at the same time blow that 146 degree attic air out. Because again, heat's a pressure, it's going to want to come inside. So, when you turn on your AC, your AC will cool the condition space inside your house. And it will cool it down to, say, 75 degrees, 76 degrees. Now, the system will shut off, but again, that heat is still locked inside the attic, so it's going to want to come inside. So at that time, the system will come back on. And again, when you're running your AC, you're running three big motors, your compressor, your fan motor, and your compressor fan motor. So we want to just cool it more efficiently, be a little more green and comfortable. So the sun goes down, it's cooler outside, what do we do? We open up our windows, maybe open up this, the screen door, and kick on the whole house fan. It's going to drag that cool air from outside inside the house. Now as it consistently does that, what's going to happen is that cool air is going to start to cool all surface areas in your house. So now your walls, your floors, your ceilings, furniture is going to start to get nice and cool. At the same time, as it pulls air inside the house, it's going to start pushing out that hot air out into the attic out into the, the air, right? Out of the vents. So now this temperature is going to drop, the inside temperature is going to drop, now you're going to be nice and comfortable. At that point, once the desired temperature is met inside the house, you're going to shut the system off, and or sh shut the whole house fan off, shut the doors, shut the windows, and the whole house is going to remain nice and cool, and the AC system hasn't even kicked on. So it's a very efficient way to uh, cool your house. and. Uh, you know, people love it, I and mean, you can't go wrong. Now, there's a lot of different product out there. Uh, we always like to, you know, pick quality uh, over anything else. So that way, you know, the shutters last a long time. They don't make any noises. I'm sure some of you have actually heard, you know, whole house fans come on. They sound like a, you know, airplane or helicopter inside your house. We like to make sure that our, com our customers are very uh, comfortable with the whole house fan on. So uh, that being said, there's a lot of details, a lot of information we'd love to share with you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at one two three. Um, I'm sorry, 444-1234 uh, or thinkbellbrothers.com. Uh,